from Drakensink. Hey, what's up? This is Drakensink with a new gameplay video, and this time I'm playing a game called The Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Hopefully, I got the name right. But it's like a action RPG or something, third person, top-down view, similar to Torchlight games like that. I just saw this on Steam. It's open beta right now, so I thought I'd check it out. But first, let's go to settings. I already created my character, a randomized character. Video, sound, gameplay. So yeah, I created a class already. A one shot kill. I chose an archer, randomized. And got like a pet eagle or something right there. And all kind of birds. Nice door. A shame if it got smashed open. So you start off in a dungeon, just randomly collecting a bunch of off shit. To the loot pile. A bunch of stuff. Yeah. Inventory. Open your inventory to check out the gear. Loot it in your last attack. Okay. So you got like a character. Looks like after each instance of a dungeon or something, and then you get to this screen right here. Got a customization screen. You get to upgrade stuff. Equip things for your next dungeon run or whatever. Let's get him, Mr. Pointy. Raiding the super hard castle. One shot kill, that's very nice. I've got traps in here too. Try my piercing shot. It's like an area of attack or something. These things. Snotter, level one. Oh shit, his snot got me. Bag of bones. Pick up another similar crossbow. Will you have picked a up a lot of stuff. Join me on the castle's tower. I have something That's that I'd like to do. game is called named after, I guess. Let's go ahead and raid Snotter Hut. A bunch of them standing right there and bomb. Um, it's like a boss right there. Shooting a bunch of snot. Snot killed him the second. Ah, much better. So the map is pretty much straightforward right now. Knock. Knock. You've just been black eyed. Hmm. Rate the castle to discover the prize. Give it a three. It was decent. Doesn't look like you can equip items while you're in a dungeon. You can only equip it before and after. You, you finish each castle raid, a dungeon raid. So, as soon as you um, pick up a new item, you can't equip it. Because the equip thing is just coming soon. Maybe, maybe that's just for open beta, I don't know. So this map is a little bit better. More enemies. Maybe you also have like a, um, a limit. There should be a limit, right? Of how many items you can pick up. I don't know. With the title of this game, maybe you can pick up as many items as you want. You're going to be far Probably should have went into my inventory now. to equip my um, items that I just got from the other console. I was too eager to raid this castle and completely forgot about it. Okay. I'm just gonna make them all come to me first. This castle is a little bit bigger. Come on, everyone, follow me. Gather around. Gather around, children. It damages them over time, but it doesn't last forever. Ready to go. 
Looks like the archer has a lot of nice um, area of attacks. Gotta lighten that load. Oh, the inventory is full. There you I go. So there's only a limit of how many items you can pick up. So the only chance you get to drop items or sell them or delete them or whatever is before or after you raid a castle. So if you come across a good item but then your inventory is full, then that's very unfortunate. See? It's not a good item, but. Yep, if you come across an item that you like me, then no more inventory space, then that sucks. Since you can't drop it in the game. Maybe after defeating a boss, they drop something this nice. Is as strong as I'm gonna get. That kinda sucks. really need to use my bird much. Can't carry I have to else. order it in order to attack. Oh no. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Huh? It's green so it means it's enchanted Not at least. <laughs> but my inventory is full. Damn. I need to stay That's light. a lesson I'm learned carrying. right there. Can't carry anything yep. else. Can I pick up the nice item right there because you know, jelly. Feels nice. <laughs> feels nice. For some reason, it feels nice. Oh, I hate to do that jelly thing. I can't carry anymore. Your bird only attacks if you tell it to. Otherwise, it just stands there. See? At least, like, do. Um, just go around and. Um, Bite them I should them. make more room in my inventory. You just follow Zero around unless you order it to attack. Yeah. Oh, Some tentacles in a jar. <laughs> That's a interesting thing. Oh, too easy. Stay yeah, a lot of nice items dropping. Can't pick it up. Oh, that crystal thing is life force. I don't know what that's in use for. Ah, goes down nicely. That boss is probably going to drop something nice. Count <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it up. Very unfortunately. I'm gonna use this jelly to my advantage. Oh, they can't walk through it. Yeah, there you go. Now that's good potion. Drop some traps right there. That's a magician. Someone in the bed. Where's that? Count's not in there. Hiding. Oh, Go, bird. Slows them down, also damages them all the time. Nice. That spike trap thing. seen a blue orb yet. There's a boss. There's a mini boss. 
Only one health potion left. I'm gonna have to save that for the boss. Oh, slaying bow. That sounds nice. And no more inventory space to pick it up. I'm very unfortunate. Cannot pick it up because this is coming soon. Not available in the conveyor. That loot's gonna stay where it is. Can't carry anything else. If I actually comments <laughs> when you try to pick it up as well. To stay light. Can't carry any more. Come on, Bert. Help me pick it up. You can do it. That's not going to work. Got a boss must be over here. Say good night, Mister. Bird. He's in the corner, Bird. At least I got a triple shot, which is nice for area attacks. Disappear. The orb just disappears after a while. Oh, he didn't drop anything good. <laughs> that bastard didn't even drop anything good. But the um, random henchmen. Some nice work. Hope you enjoy cleaning. Oh, we got a big chest right there. So. Thanks for the contribution. All right, that one's pretty good. So if you if you defeat that castle's boss, then they're um, the little guys or henchmen. Then you get to rule over them. Then they um, follow you. So that's what those crystals are for. For hiring these. Summoning these henchmen. Melee attacker. 40 physical damage, 12 health. Range attacker. Magical damage, 8 health. So, uh, since I'm already at range, I need something to uh, melee. And you can have one. Are these things just gonna stay in your castle to protect? Other players gonna raid your castle, and then this what happens. Maybe someone needs to protect your castle. Or what is going on? You need some police as well. Castle heart upgrade. Upgrade castle heart to rank two. This is the most important structure in your castle. Upgrading it will improve the rest of your machinery and make your castle generally more awesome. Basically, it gives it more um, defensive rating. Before moving forward, upgrade your summoning portal to gain access to the rest of the so this is like a simulation, you have a new you know, simulation like a strategy game, RPG, type of game. So this generator here um, provides electricity for an area of traps. I'm gonna hide it somewhere, maybe people, people can destroy it. You just put it behind this corner. Raise your defenses, at creatures and defenses. And traps. Let's raise your defense. Max out your defensive rating to continue. Okay. The 
just put more, um, see, rotating cannon flame. Go a little bit more blue. Slap them in place. Put like a fire trap or something. Take that generator, so let's put it. Put it right here. Test run your castle. Let's see how difficult it is. No traps right here so far. Should probably put some right there. It has signs right there. Though. Oh shit. It actually um, comes up and explodes. But there's no enemies shooting at me while, while I'm um, glued to the floor. So that's probably put the enemies closer. And put these flames closer as well. Because the enemies don't even spot me until I get heck closer. Okay, this is an easily um, defeatable trap. That Cyclops is weaker than it. Some good adjustments. This guy's way up here by himself, and this other guy's way up here by himself. One shot kill. Thanks. Mine's destroyed. Life force mine. Hmm. So, enemies actually destroy these in order to get past. Just gotta put those someplace safe, too. I just put them out in the open. Way easy. I guess I give this castle a negative one. Good work. Okay, can I readjust so many things? I think I need to reevaluate that one. A citizen of Opulence. New region unlocked. Okay, more of the world right here. This is the region map of Upu Lincia. Click the Hida Gardens region to access it. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting game. That was up here. I can choose different... Um, It requires some type of gem. Oh, you gotta buy it with real money, I think, for this the shop. Purchase it, and then it transfers, gives you um, green gems, and you use that to buy. I guess if you want to change your hero or something. So you can't really, um, yeah, it's not free to um, change your hero. You can only choose your hero one time for free, and then the rest, you want to change it, then you gotta purchase these gems. I'm satisfied with Archer right now. Okay. Got different worlds, bunch of castles. You can even build your own in case someone tries to um, steal your um, gold or something. You gotta make sure they defend your castle as well. So that's pretty interesting. So I'll be trying this, playing this game out a little bit since it's still open beta. But this was recorded on February 26, 2014. 